off his theft. You are in charge of the petty cash at the office. However, a co-worker is responsible for making a weekly trip to the bank to make the business deposit and op- obtain petty cash for the following week. In a conversation with your mutual supervisor, you are asked if the increase in petty cash amount was enough. You, however, have not seen any ad- additional money. You realize your co-worker has been pocketing the ad- additional money. Do you tell your supervisor you have neither asked nor received any additional petty cash and that you suspect your co-worker is pocketing the money? Tell your co-worker your suspicions and give them a chance to give to pay the money back. Say nothing and just wait to see what happens. Now let's start a game of Tetris. I think you probably should tell the good co-worker and if they confess it's their own problem and if they don't then you can actually confront. There better not be any ads on this. Yeah. Hmm. It also depends on like how much the additional amount is. I mean it's, if it's like hardly anything compared to the total it probably wouldn't matter. But then again if the supervisor was giving it, it would probably be actually of any, of some use. Midnight death. You worked years to be successful in your father's enterprise. You felt you were obligated to take over as he worked his whole life to build the enterprise left to him by his father. However, the large businesses in town have, have seriously cut into profit and for several years you and your family have just managed to scrape by. Your father's health has declined and he has been hospitalized. He has substantial life insurance that expires at midnight. If he dies before midnight, you'll inherit enough money to pursue a career you've always dreamed of and provide adequately for your family. Do you pinch the oxygen line, making it possible for your dad to die and or smother him with a pillow? Daddy has. Tell your dad the problem and let him suggest a solution and go by what he says. Do nothing as you cannot imagine living with yourself if you terminate your dad's life. But yeah, that, that escalated quickly. The previous one's about taking like hardly something out of cash. Could you realistically kill your own father just for health insurance? And how, how does health insurance have that specific of a like time limit? Surely, like, there should be some leeway if he's already going to die. Hmm. If it is your father's company, I, you probably should at least ask him. I mean, his solution would probably be, take the money, because... He is apparently a successful businessman and all that. I mean, if he's already suffering in the hospital, would he really care about dying like a few days earlier? Hmm. What do you think, Captain?
Ich bin da nur